All right, well, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a single red pixel onto your Game Boy Advance screen, as you can see in this uh, video right here. There's a single pixel in the top left corner, and if you can see that, and in this video, I will show you how to do that. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start by creating an empty project. And in order to do that, I'm going to first create a folder. And I will just name it uh, Red Pixel. I'll open it. Now I also want to create two more folders, one called Source. This folder will, will contain all of our uh, source code, any code that's written and with a .cpp or .c extension, whether you're using C++ or C. And then we'll create another folder called include. And this will include all the header files, anything with the .h extension. And so we also need to include a make file. Now, if you downloaded um, DevKit Pro, your make file should be, if you're on Windows, that is, and I'm only going to show you how to do this on Windows. Um, you're going to want to go into your C DevKit Pro. And from here, you want to go to Examples, and then the Game Boy Advance, and then the Template. And then there's a make file right here that you just want to copy. If you go back one there, you can also see that there's a make file here as well. Do not copy this make file. Uh, you want to go into the template folder and copy this make file instead. So once you have that copied, we can go back to our project folder. Here we are and paste it there. Okay, and so this is good to go, and now we can open up our uh, editor and start making, start writing the program. Okay, so here I have the programmer's notepad opened up. This is where I'm going to write the program. Uh, before I can actually write the program, I'm going to have to actually create the project. And so once you have it opened up, you, you'll see this uh, screen like this. And now what you want to do to create a project is just go to New, Project name it something meaningful red pixel and then uh, navigate to the folder that we actually just created projects uh, red pixel and click OK and then OK and then from here you could add files as you see fit, but I find it useful to uh, kind of recreate what I have in that uh, folder so that I can organize things better. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much here. Let's uh, add the make file. And then when I write the, per the source, I'll put it into uh, this folder. So now let's actually create an empty uh, file just by clicking this button up here and then we'll, we'll we will start by writing a basic uh, some basic code that you want to start off with okay now once you have that I mean this code won't do anything it's just the uh, very bare bones here and so let's just save it and we'll do this right here and then we'll, we will go into where I have the file the folder created and then the source I'll save it into the source directory and I'll call it main.cpp I'm writing in C++. Um, and then I'll click 
click save. And once you do that, it should color your code a little bit. All right, and then over here, I'll actually add that in here as well, just so I could organize it on this side. Okay, so next step is I'm going to uh, add a couple lines of code, and I'm just going to copy and paste what they are. Okay, so what you want to do is write these two lines as you see here. And they should look confusing to you. They should not uh, look familiar. <laughs> if you've done this project before, then then yet you, you'll understand what they, what they mean. But let me just go line by line and uh, part by part and explain what these two lines mean, what they do. So let's start with this... Uh, this first line here and let's actually start with this value here now you may notice that this value is a hexadecimal value anything that starts with a 0x is a hexadecimal value so this is also a hex value as is this and this and so we will st I'll start by explaining what this value means okay so here you can see this line uh, written again, just a lot easier to see. And here's this value that I want to talk about, 0x0403. Now, like I said before, this is a hex value. And as you may know, this is a two byte. This is two bytes in length. And because what's nice about hex values is that each digit represents four bits, right? And so this is four digits. The zero x at front just means it's a hex value, and this is for, so this value is, is four digits long, and since each uh, digit uh, requires four bits, this is sixteen bits or two bytes, since uh, a byte is eight bits. Okay, so uh, with that uh, with that out of the way, let's explain what these uh, this value does, and so I'm going to go over here and show you this uh, graph here. Uh, so what this shows you is how these 16 bits are laid out. Uh, so as you can see, I have it grouped up into four different sections. Each uh, section represents a single digit. Um, so let's start with uh, this uh, what's this one over here this if you recall is a three remember the value is zero four zero three and so we get a three because if you look over here in the in the description we're setting these two bits one uh, zero and one uh, we're setting these two bits to one and what that means is we're using mode three essentially uh, you may know that the Game Boy Advance has uh, six different modes that you can use. Uh, you have mode 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, there are basically just two types of modes. Uh, there's a tile-based mode, which are modes 0, 1, and 2. And then there are uh, bitmap modes, which are 3, 4, and 5. <clears throat> and so we're using a bitmap mode for this uh, example. And so we want to use mode 3. In order to do that, in order to tell the Game Boy Advance that we're using mode 3, we have to set these two bits to 1. And so that essentially gives us a value of 3 if all these other bits are sent, set to 0, which they are. And then the next bit we have to be concerned with is this one, this, uh, this one over here. This section, as you can see, shows uh, BG0, 1, 2, and 3. This stands for the background. So the Game Boy Advance can have four different backgrounds, uh, but not in all the modes. In, in uh, mode 3, like the one we're using, we have to use background 2. And so we have to set a bit A to 1 and keep these the rest of these 0. 
And if you, as you know, that corresponds to a value of four. Now, with that set, we, and then the other, and we don't have to get into what all these other, um, what all these other things mean at this point in time. They will come up in other uh, videos and tutorials. For now, that's all you need to know in order to get this uh, program to work. And so essentially everything will be set to zero except for bit A, zero, and one. And so that will give us a value of zero, four, zero, three. Okay, so the next thing we want to understand is what this value means. We understand this value now, right here. Now we want to understand what this value is. This is also a hex value, as you can see. And essentially, I'll just plainly state that this is <clears throat> the memory address where we want to save this value. And so the Game Boy Advance has several uh, memory addresses that we need to be aware of. This is a very common one. This, I mean, you can basically just read what I wrote down here, but uh, this um, memory address corresponds to the input output memory or IO RAM. Uh, so, in here, we have a lot of registers that we need to deal with, and the most common one, the most important one in order to get this working, is uh, the, the register at this memory location. It's the first register here. And so essentially we're just uh, defining a pointer here that's uh, two bytes in length and we're dereferencing that with, we're going to dereference the pointer, have it, we're going to have a point to this location, dereference it, and then store this value into that location. Okay, so now that we understand this first line here, <clears throat> we could go ahead and look at what the second line means. And it looks very similar to the first line, it's just that the values have changed. Now we know, for example, as I explained before, that this value here represents a memory address for input output memory. Uh, this also references a memory address for something else. And as well, let's, just, let's just do what we did before and start with what this value means right here. Okay, so here we are back over here and we have that line of code uh, just uh, enlarged and this is the value we're, that we're focusing on right now. And as you can see, like before, it's a two byte value and, and I'll just tell you right now this is, that this is the uh, color uh, that we want to draw onto the screen. This represents red. It's hard to see why in but we'll, let's uh, go over here and understand what, how colors are stored on the Game Boy Advance. So the Game Boy Advance uses 15 bits to store colors. And as you can see in this uh, table here, uh, I have it grouped up into groups of four again, where each uh, group represents a single four bit value. And so now, it uses 15 bits, but actually it takes up 16 bits of storage, or two bytes. It just doesn't use the last bit. The reason is because each there's three colors, red, green, and blue, and each color requires <clears throat> five bits, right? So, and then five times three is 15. We don't, we don't have any use for the last bit here, so we just have that as an X. So the first five bits represent red, the next five bits represent green, then the next five bits represent blue. Okay, so in order to draw red down here, for example, we need to set all of the red bits to one and everything else to zero. And that corresponds to a value of 001F. Now, if we wanna draw green, we do something similar where we set all the bits to one on all the green bits and everything else as zero. And that corresponds to a value of 03 E zero. I mean, it's better if we write our own uh, method in order in order to determine the hex value rather than you know writing it up for ourselves. And we'll do that in the future. But for now, I think it's useful just to see uh, how how to do how to do everything by hand. And so, if we go back here, so that so we can see that that represents the color. 
and that just represents red. And so this value, like I mentioned before, is a memory address where we want to store uh, this value. And this memory address corresponds to video memory or VRAM. And VRAM, how, how VRAM works depends on what mode we're using. Since we're using mode 3, VRAM is essentially just a giant array. So essentially every two bytes in VRAM in mode 3 represents a pixel on the screen. Okay, and VRAM we have 96 kilobytes to work with, which is actually more than enough uh, in order to draw all the pixels on the screen. And so here we're just going to draw this pixel onto the first location in VRAM, which corresponds to the upper left corner of the screen. If you want to draw somewhere else, well, then, then we could modify uh, this locate this value right here to uh, point to somewhere else on the screen. And then like before, this is just a pointer. We dereference the pointer and, uh, and uh, save and write this value to that location memory in order to draw the pixel. Okay, so at this point we have everything written. Believe it or not, this is everything we need in order to draw this pixel onto the screen. I've explained what these two lines mean. These next two lines, uh, they, I mean, the while loop, this is the never-ending loop. Uh, and then it just, uh, so that we continue to draw the pixel. I mean, you don't really need it uh, for this particular program. I just like to keep it in, in any way because this is going to be our game loop when we add, start adding more stuff uh, to a game. And so what we want to do is compile this, and we do that by hitting Alt-1. And as you see down here, it will start making the project and linking the cartridge. And it should come with a ROM fixed message and no errors. And so that's the most important thing to see no errors. Now, in order to run the, uh, the compiled project, we need to have an emulator or you can have uh, or you can save it onto a uh, ROM cartridge onto your actual Game Boy Advance. But for visual purposes for this video, I'll use an emulator. Okay, so here I just opened up my emulator. I'm using I'm using Visual Boy Advance, and so in order to open up the project, just go to open, uh, go to the folder you have the project saved. You should see a, uh, a file with a .gba extension. You want to highlight that and click open. And then once you do, you can see, uh, if you can, move over here, this uh, single red pixel in the top left corner of the screen, which is exactly what we wanted to do. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video and found it useful. Um, from here, you should be able, be able to uh, make that pixel any color you want and also draw it anywhere you want onto the screen and you should be able to create as many pixels and with as many colors as you want and we'll in the next video we'll do just that we'll just i'll show you how to make this program a little bit better a bit more readable and um, more extendable and so it's not so confusing <laughs> and unreadable. Anyway, so if you did like that video, then do what you normally do and you know, like, share, and subscribe. And then hopefully I could get around to you know making more videos on a regular basis. And uh, just let me know what you would like me to make a video on as well, if there's something in particular. That you want to yeah, that you want me to cover and i could uh work it into a future video anyway thank you